What's going on y'all? Buttery Workshop back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you my Filson collection. Don't know when I first came across Filson. It had to have been during my freshman year of college where I was really looking for a backpack that would last throughout those next four years and hopefully beyond. And I came across Filson on one forum or another and they are slash were renowned for their craftsmanship. Maybe craftsmanship isn't the right word, but they have a lifetime warranty on all of their products. So if they fail you, you can, if they, if the products fail, not if, if Filson is failing you. You thought I was failing? But if your Filson items fail in one way or another, you can send it back to them and they would either repair or replace them free of charge. Who knows? If, if Filson is still honoring that warranty slash guarantee, I've heard different stories. I have heard one story where a gentleman had a pair of pants that he wore uh, to shreds basically, sent them back to Filson, they sent him a brand new pair, no questions asked, he's done this several times. So, I don't know, I haven't sent any of my products back, I haven't actually tried to act on anything yet, but I do have some products that, need, uh, that do need repair, so maybe I could document that as well. But with no further ado, let's start off with, with the piece that really started it all. And this is the Filson Journeyman Backpack. And you'll see it's a pretty substantial pocket in the front. Uh, you could actually carry quite a bit in here. I normally keep like, I don't have anything in here right now. But if I'm traveling, I can throw anything that I wanna have easily accessible in here, maybe a little snack or something. Usually not like a wallet, but it does have a pocket in here where you can put a battery to recharge your phone. I put charger cables in there, a few pencils, whatever. You could really throw anything in here. And again, this pocket is pretty huge, so you could fit a lot in there. The backpack itself isn't super big, but it is the perfect size. Like if you're going out for a day and you just need to have a bag with you, this is the perfect size bag for you. And as you can see, mine's is pretty tattered. Um, even looking at this little storm flap, like this is all, this is all tattered. But again, I've had this bag since 2011. And I used to use it every single day, just carrying my school stuff. It has a little laptop sleeve pocket area in there. Another zippered spot where I keep, let's see if I have anything in here right now, random stuff. Toothpaste, a little body soap, Tylenol, ibuprofen, whatever. I just keep any little like first aid type things in there. It's a little safe area. Um, it has another little pocket here. You could slide a book or your passport, something. But yeah, this was my daily driver for five years at least. It is pretty tattered. It holds up really well. So the major differences between this journeyman backpack and the journeyman backpack that is currently on the Filson website is the new one has buttons here that can compress this pocket. It also has a webbing uh, material here rather than leather. Is anything else different? Um, those might be the only big differences, honestly. But these zippers are pretty amazing. They're very rugged, and this is kind of the issue here. The zippers get caught on this storm flap, and I don't remember that being the case when it was like brand new, but it is a very heavy duty zipper. It feels very rugged. It's never failed me, honestly, despite these little cosmetic bits of damage here. Like, the backpack still functions exactly as it needs to, and I love it. This was my companion, it still is my companion. Even when I'm traveling today, I'll have a carry-on and this will be my personal bag, my personal item that I carry with me to this very day. So I still get a lot of usage out of this. Hmm, what's next? As I mentioned, I originally got the Journeyman backpack during my freshman year of college. It lasted throughout that whole time and up until today. But after that, I graduated from college and got my first job in the corporate world. I became a corporate slave. Just kidding, I didn't. I had a pretty fun marketing job. But from there, 
I got the original Filson briefcase. This has that nice bridal leather strap. Yeah, there's plenty of reviews of these online. It, it, it's not their biggest briefcase. It is the original briefcase. It, it has, you know, little front pocket here, back pocket here. Mine is a little tattered just from, you know, from regular use. Has that same heavy duty zipper as the Journeyman backpack. But something that makes mine a bit unique that you won't see, that you won't see in many other bags, at least I haven't seen it yet, is I actually got mine monogrammed right here. Let me make sure you all can see that. You see that? Boom. And, um, and I actually got this done at the Filson store in the Boston area. So I'm sure other people have their bags monogrammed right there, but I was super happy about that. I was excited. I didn't know that they offered free monogramming. I know that Filson offers it uh, through their website, but I was never sure where they would monogram the bag or, you know what I'm saying, how it would turn out. So it was really cool to go into the store, bring a few of my pieces and get that done. I do have another bag that has monogram and it's actually the next Filson piece that I bought. So let's jump into it. But yep, yeah, this is the Filson original briefcase can hold a laptop, a couple books, charger, pens, pencil, you know, any, anything you would need in your normal day-to-day -day work life. Now, up until now, I had my Filson backpack that I used to have college. I had my briefcase that I would use in my day-to-day -day work life, but I needed something when I was traveling. And for that, I got the Filson medium duffel bag. Now, I don't know if you could tell uh, just with this camera angle, but this medium bag is pretty big. Like, I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the medium Filson bag that's currently on the website. But if you haven't seen the large Filson duffel bag, like your mind will be blown. It's huge. And this is actually a really good size. I've used this bag to travel up to a week, seven days of goods in here. It's a really simple duffel bag. It has just one big open void for you to dump all your personal belongings in. It does have two little side pockets on either side where you can put in socks or any sort of little goods or whatever. But it's a pretty big bag. Like I, I could comfortably fit you know, two pairs of shoes and a bunch of clothes and have pretty much everything I would need. The only pain though, there's two two big pain points with this bag. Also, is this bag? Yeah, this bag is also one. Bang, bang, bang. But the two main pain points with that bag is there aren't any zippered compartments to put any of your personal belongings and there aren't any uh, wheels. And if you're traveling, you're you have to go from one terminal to another and you know, you're on the move, you're on the fly, lugging around a duffel bag can be a pain in the arse. So to solve that issue, I picked up a piece that I don't even think Filson still sells. So y'all let me know, check out the website. I got this Filson, I think this is like a medium roller suitcase. And it is roughly the same slash similar size to the medium duffel bag, but it has wheels. Really love, and, and it's funny, up until now, these are all the otter green pieces, um, which I just love. I'm a big fan of this otter green color. And that was a big, big decision-making process in and of itself, figuring out what color, uh, Filson products I wanted to get. Uh, this is definitely, this is one of my favorite colors. Uh, this forest green color, they call it otter green. So I figured I'd, I'd keep some consistency here. And yeah, I actually found this bag. You can see it has some scuff marks just from being checked involuntarily and voluntarily at times. You see here, a little scuff marks. But again, it's that Filson, that Filson quality. There's no signs on any anywhere on this bag that 
would suggest that its quality or its ability to do its job has been compromised. It does have this little flap, pretty big, big uh, area in here, zippered pouch. I normally keep, you know, all the things you would need when traveling, uh, you know, random stuff. Little hangover kit, you know what I'm saying? All sorts of stuff just in here. It does have these little straps that are surprisingly helpful. So I put in my clothes, normally two piles, some shoes, whatever, buckle them in, flip it up, we're good to go. There's also this little zippered area where, I don't know where or when it happened, but mine has sand in it. And because of that, I haven't been putting, like I could throw some, maybe I probably threw flip flops in there. That's probably what it is, but there's some sand in there. So I'm in a little hesitant to actually use this pocket. I do gotta get that cleaned out one day. But um, really like this bag. Has nice handle right here on the top. Nice handle on the side. Telescoping handle here. And yeah, I love it. This became my go-to. I, I try to travel strictly carry on because checking your bag, picking up your bag, that shit's a pain in the ass. So I try to I try to maintain a carry-on only travel when possible. So this has become my flight luggage. This with the journeyman backpack. And I pretty much exclusively use oh pardon me. The medium duffel for land travel. So if we're driving up to a cabin, driving to another state, whatever, yeah, that's when I'll use the medium duffel because I'm not gonna be lugging it around the airport. I could pack all my stuff up, throw it in the back of the car, and we're on our way. There is another piece that is travel related, but it's in the other room because I use it all the time. So I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Be right back. Whoop. Felsen toiletry bag. The biggest issue, especially with the medium duffel bag, was there aren't any zippered com compartments. There is a zipper compartment in this uh, in this suitcase, but I needed something to use, especially when I'm just using the medium duffel bag. I can't just have myself all thrown around the uh, around the bag. So I have this pretty spacious, you know, deodorant, cologne, beard stuff, floss, toothpaste, eye drops, anything you would need. It does have these little side pockets as well in here. One on each side. I don't use them, but you know, you can throw your toothbrush in there with a little uh, little clamp thing on it. You know what I'm saying? Keep it fresca. But super nice, super good quality, blah, blah, blah. You know, that good Filson material. Pockets on the outside, whatever. Self-explanatory. You've seen one, you've seen them all. What's next, Dan? We're not even halfway through this. This is the Rugged Twill Small Field Bag. And it's actually my first Filson piece in the traditional tan color. Little flap, you guys know the flap, you've seen it, you know the flap. A little button uh, pocket here. You could throw anything, keys, wallet, whatever. I'm always hesitant to put a wallet in a bag like this because you know what I'm saying? People might try to be a little shysty and get into your pockets, but you know, just be aware. Keep an eye on everyone in your surroundings and you'll be good. Has a really big area in here. Like I have a, just a camera, but you could actually fit quite a bit in here, like a book, camera, video camera, any sort of larger tote bag. Sometimes it's nice to fold up a tote bag and have it in here. If you bought a shirt or something, you could easily throw it in here. It does also have this little back sliding area. I have a mask in here, you know what I'm saying? Stay safe. Um, and I actually have this strap that is not original to this bag. So this bag normally uses this leather strap, uh, the same kind that you'd see on the duffel bag, the original briefcase, all that good stuff. But I like this nylon uh, strap, especially for this little field bag, because it, it normally isn't super heavy, and sometimes that leather strap can be a bit much, especially if you just, you know, wanna throw it on and have it with you all day. So I actually moved this strap onto this bag 
from the most recent bag that I purchased. I think this is just the Felsen Lightweight Original Briefcase. It looks almost identical to the original briefcase. Let me see. Has all the same pockets in here. Yeah. Everything is pretty much the same. The only difference is this is like a lightweight tin cloth material rather than the rugged twill. So just to compare the two, and I'll try to get a little close up just so you can see the difference in the, uh, the actual material itself. One is this rugged twill material. And the other is this lightweight tin cloth material. And you can see it in the appearance. It is definitely, it is definitely lighter. Most likely less rugged, um, but a cool alternative. It is still, still have a little waxy, waxiness, which would have some water repellents. But yeah, it's a cool bag. I like it. I don't have one. It looks nice, different color even though this is probably the same sort of otter green. And strangely, like, look at the, the color of the flap is different from the body of the briefcase. I don't know if you could tell that on, that well on camera, but it is really cool. But that lightweight briefcase came with this strap here. So I think that's, that's pretty much it for my bags. I do have this little tray, this little Filson tray that um, I just dropped my keys into and wallet, whatever. I have like this little random, little tiny dice that are just always in there. So keep that, dump all my stuff, little pocket dump at the end of the day, end of the night, whatever. I also have, see, I, I, bought, the, I bought these pieces in like, I forget the name, honestly. The bags I remember, cause I had to do like extensive research on them, but other little accessories, they just, you know, Filson hat. Filson hat with the brim. Like, and this is, this is the tin cloth packer hat. Purchase way back when, when I did not have quite this much hair on my head. I've worn this hat in the rain. It is this tin cloth material, similar to the lightweight briefcase. It is waxed. I did wax it myself also. I can actually put a picture in here of when I waxed it. But that just made it a little bit more water repellent. I remember walking to my job in the rain uh, and you could probably, I don't know if this is from sweat or the rain, but you could sort of see the little red on the tag there. And even from it being wet, like, you see that little corrosive Statue of Liberty green stuff? I don't know what they actually call that, but there is some sort of scientific name for it. But, Really love this hat. Wish I could still wear it, but it doesn't quite fit on my head still. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe one day when I'm an old man, I'm going bald, I'll be able to wear this hat again. Last but not least, four hats at least. This is Filson's Double Mackinac Wool Cap. Let's see what details is on this. Sheepskin Shirling Lined Air Flaps. So, live in the Northeast, it gets cold as hell. And can I still fit this? Oh, no. Oh. Whew. Damn, it's a tight fit. But it gets cold as hell. This hat keeps you insanely warm. Bring the flaps down, tie it under here, like Charlie Brown back in the days and keep your ears warm. I really love this Filson double Mackinac wool. I actually have a double Mackinac jacket or coat, a pretty rare one actually. So what you'll see on the Filson website is a double Mackinac cruiser coat or jacket. And it sort of uh, goes down, it's about waist length, maybe slightly past waist length, but I have like an extended version of that coat that I've only seen online at like a few different shops None for sale, I haven't seen it in years. It actually goes down like slightly above the knee. So I think I probably have a picture of me wearing it. If I do, I'll put it in right here. 
But yeah, this double Mackinac wool, I don't know how true this is, but I saw something uh, that would suggest that this wool is like boiled to constrict tighter together, which makes it rain repellent. Not waterproof, but rain repellent. But yeah, that is, that's my Filson collection. I love all my bags, love all my products, love all my items, I use them all the time. I, I can't remember a time I was traveling without my Filson goods and they get the job done. They get the job done. The prices have gone up pretty substantially um, in the past several years. So, you know, I don't know. I, I haven't bought a piece in a while. So I can't really speak to the quality of the, the latest batch of goods that are out there or, or that are available for purchase today. But I'm a happy fan of Filson and I'm gonna continue being one until these items fail one day and I gotta send them back and they screw me. Hopefully they won't though. I uh, fuck with y'all Filson. Hold me down, I'm gonna hold y'all down. And yeah, that's it. That's my Filson collection. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Let me know what pieces you have. Let me know what you're eyeing. Ask me any questions about the items I have and I'll try to answer them, um, you know, to the best of my abilities. And that's it. Happy New Year, y'all. Peace.